And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some loaded monkeys. Y'all may remember this deck on meme tier day a few weeks ago. It was a ton of fun to play and looked really strong. We're going to be back at it over in ranked now. I had two different donations to play uh, very similar donation decks here with Zoe, Twisted Fate, um, loaded, uh, loaded dice out of the way. Um, and so I have two different decks, but basically I'm kind of combining. I'm just I'm just gonna go back to like the deck that we were playing, and I'm just gonna try this this version again because I really like this deck. So some things I like about this deck. Well, first I guess I should explain what we're what we're doing here. If you didn't see the first video, basically what we have here is a combo deck with loaded dice and out of the way. So basically, loaded dice says for the rest of one singular round, if you damage the enemy nexus, you get to nab a card, and so that's every individual like unit that attacks that deals damage or spell that deals damage, each one, you nab a card for each one. But with Out of the Way, it makes that Loaded Dice counts as like a buff somehow. And so when with if you play Out of the Way first, then you play your Loaded Dice, then that will be for the rest of the game. So the, so the entire game, if you ever deal just like one point of damage to the enemy Nexus, nab a card. So incredibly powerful combination if we can get that. So what we want is we want to get that going, and then we want to be dealing uh, Nexus damage. So we're going to have like Monkey Idol here creating Powder Monkeys and Monkey Business creating Powder Monkeys. Because as y'all know, whenever Powder Monkeys die, deal one to the enemy Nexus. So that would nab a card. And then lots of other little things that can do Nexus damage fairly easily. Parlay, Warning Shot, Crack Shot Corsair. So if we just attack, boom, Nexus damage, draw a card. Cutthroat um, and Zoe are both one drops that have elusives. So they're difficult to block, especially Cutthroat with the Fearsome and Elusive, so they can do an excess damage fairly easily. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to also have um, Black Market Merchant as another nab card in here, and also it will reduce the um, cost of all of the uh, other cards that we end up nabbing. Each time we nab a card, that does count as drawing it from the opponent's deck, so Twisted Fate will level up fairly quickly if we just continue to nab cards very fast um but what i so what i really like about this deck is how low to the ground it is i like how we have 14 cards that cost one another you know three that cost zero another nine that cost two um so putting those together you're looking at 26 cards that cost zero one or two mana really really low to the ground then just a, a few threes really it's just twisted fate and our combo pieces that don't cost one through three mana. Last time we tried Powder Pandemonium, but we talked about afterwards to, to replace that with a couple of burst spells because we wanted, once we had leveled up Twisted Fate, it was, if they open attacked, it was sometimes kind of difficult for us to get to gold card. We wanted a few more fast spells, so we're going to um, play one pick a card, one hush. And then also, I had Jagged Butcher last time. I'm going to play Spacey Sketcher this time. I think that being able to discard cards, get that Celestial card could be really valuable, especially like if we're nabbing different cards. We're going to nab some cards that are kind of useless that we don't really need. We can discard those for Celestial cards. If we get a second one of our combo pieces, we don't really need those, um, even though the loaded dice do stack. So if we have two loaded dice, like we have, if we play one and then we play another one, it will be nabbed two for every single card, which is crazy. Um, but we can still discard those for some Celestial cards. Spacey Sketcher will help our Zoe level up faster. Um, and also just, you know, get us some other stuff. Plus, Spacey Sketcher is a one-drop. We are a Jagged Taskmaster deck, so, you know, it can be like a 2-1 with Taskmaster. A little better than that 1-1 one, one body. All right, but anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's play some Loaded Monkeys. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Okay. All right, so we got Lucian Azir. So they're going to be very aggressive. We're going to have to try to stabilize, which isn't going to be the easiest. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to mulligan this loaded dice and keep the rest. Lucky you. And the last thing you so my plan, honestly, is to like not play anything on turn two right now. Open wide. <clears throat> like with just like the three cards that we had it would be like don't play anything on turn two save the two spell mana turn three we hit them with a cutthroat and then i would play monkey idol and monkey business be quick. could play black market merchant though but i think it's 
I think it's probably best to get the monkey idol going. Oh, cool emote. We'll watch this. <laughs> Alright, so now do we get another Monkey Owl going or do we play this Merchant yet? That's really the question. Go with the black market merchant. I don't know. Maybe monkey idol. Yeah, maybe monkey idol. All right, play a Zoe. Is hushing a zero worth it? Yeah, I think so, right? Because let's see. It's probably worth it to hush a zero, right? Right now it's at six, and so it attacks, it puts three other things in. And so three other things doesn't level up the Azir. How's it going? If I wait till next turn. Yeah, so it will kill one sand soldier, right? So it would hush right now would wait would kill one sand soldier, but it wouldn't level us up. I'm going to try to wait till next turn to hush. Keep Azir from leveling up. So that's 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm attacking back for 7. Wow. That only can say that they have another Azir in hand. Sorry, out of the way. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Wow. They stunned. Slow down, will you? I'll be quick. Dash, shut up. Still puts him to zero. Still puts him to zero. Still puts them to zero. And there we go. Loaded monkeys. Monkeys v sand soldiers. And the monkeys were on top. That was a tough call though. Oh, Lissandra Trundle. They're gonna be killing all my powder monkeys. <laughs> Harvey's laying there right in between the two beds. Like, can't decide which bed to lay in. I'm just gonna lay between them. <laughs> 
Corsair, Corsair, Spacey Sketcher, Monkey Business. All right, this, we're gonna mulligan all of these. We want, we don't wanna like have our whole deck die to Avalanche, basically. We want our champions and we want our combo, like this kind of matchup. Kept the one drop, but we, we definitely want our combo for sure. Escapes my watch. I don't know about that. Nothing. Safeguard our homes. We definitely want out of the way and loaded dice. Yuck. Alert the villain. PNZ Targon's peak. PNZ peak. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. On the trick. Foolish child. Where's our nab stuff? We need nab cards. Hmm. So Avalanche doesn't kill Lissandro with that toff. Please don't Avalanche. Ah, an Avalanche. It's even just the worst avalanche though kills my power monkey. Deal me in. All right, at least this will take down Lissandra. All that glitters. All right, what did they just do? Oh, entreat. Uh, I knew I should, I should have just passed. I really thought about just passing priority there. So I would get to untap and I'd be able to have pick a card available. Uh, I should have just passed. Spam messages are killing me. Oh, I can't stack. Okay, well, I guess I won't attack then. Never lost a fair game. We played one. Soak it in. Nowhere. Thank you so much for the, the sub there, Nowhere. If we can just find loaded dice even, you know, we don't need out of the way. If we just find loaded dice, I can play loaded dice, triple warning shot, draw three cards. Uh, but we may just be dead, though. We really did a very poor job of drawing my combo. And nab cards. Have you even nabbed a single thing? Finally, a nap card. Smashing. Let's take this outside. Get ready for a beatdown. 
Okay, only two. So there's only one other card in their hand to cost eight plus. Yeah, thank you so much, Nowhere. I really appreciate that. No combo for me. Not the best game for me. Alright, not the best game for me right there. Okay. Back to Azir. This time with Nasus loaded dice. Where were you last game? I needed you last game. A mulligan you, and I'll keep the rest. Okay, not a bad draw with the monkey business. I can also just save the spell mana for loaded dice. Don't really need a, a monkey right now. Uh, definitely should have played the monkey business. Alright, so I get one less monkey, but we gotta play this. So if I would have played that monkey business last turn, I would have only dealt... I would have dealt just one more damage to them, right? Because I would have had the power monkey that would have died at the end of the turn, and then that same power monkey that blocked. So it would have just been like there at six, 16 instead of 17, so it's not really that big a deal. card's actually pretty good. Maybe Spacey Sketcher, maybe replacing Jagged Butcher with Spacey Sketcher is going to end up hurting us. Or like, I think I'd, I'd rather just have two Jagged Butchers, but I guess I get, I guess I get a Jagged Butcher and a Charger. Or sorry, I get a Spacey Sketcher and a Charger. And the Charger can kill the Azir. Ooh, okay. There's out of the way. So if out of the way and loaded dice in hand. You know, it takes some time to be able to play the out of the way and the loaded dice and, you know, not also not die to these aggressive decks is difficult. Would have loved to have this combo though against the Lissandra deck. Okay. So you block there. You block here. You block here. I take two.
One mana short of both Twisted Fate plus Loaded Dice next turn with the Untwisted Fate blue card. I don't like that Ruin Runner. We just don't have time. <laughs> we don't have the mana, don't have time. My plan was to red card to blow up the spell shield and then have Hush for the Rune Runner, but we're just going to need to have... We're just going to have, need to have Hush for that Nasus. Still almost dead. Great hand for them, though. They curved out really well. You know, Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher, Azir, and then having Ruin Runner, Nasus, turn 5, turn 6, like, and then, you know, <laughs> Ruin Runner, Nasus, Atrocity, like, that's, that's awesome. Great hand. Alright, Prediction has started. This deck should give us a little bit more time. Zoe. I forgot we're a Zoe deck. Yeah, turn one Zoe. That's going to make our deck look a little better. Alright, let's go. One drop. One drop. We did good, Zoe. Got an Equinox for us so we can hush this Blade Twirler so it doesn't just grow a whole bunch. I think we'll just be a generic 1-3. Alright, we'll start leveling up Twisted Fate. Just four damage. I'll be quick. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. The strong don't want mercy. Ah, they got ravenous flock. Clumsy footwork. All right, twist of eight. You did good. Okay. 
Got another one. A red card now would take that down. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. They really like those fluffy tails. No, we're going. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Blue card. Keep drawing those cards. Find loaded dice eventually. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. I guess I just don't have room for this monkey, do I? place to, to play this wow homecoming maybe the better play is to play this out of the way first and just see if we draw you know see if we draw loaded dice I probably should have done that you know they could have deny but you know see if we have loaded dice and if we had loaded dice you know then that would have made that whole attack a lot better nope another out of the way all right, so that's just five mana to draw one card. That out of the way. But might as well. Helps with Twisted Fate. We're getting closer and closer to you, Lord, to Loaded Dice. Closer and closer. Uh, absolutely out of the way loaded dice is better than pilfer goods powder pandemonium definitely Underestimate. I dare you. yeah the the power like the power that out of the way and loaded dice can have together is pretty crazy Loaded dice, where are you? We've drawn 40% of our deck so far. Still looking for it. Does feel like maybe we, we could just, maybe instead of the spacey sketchers, the two spacey sketchers, maybe it's just three pick a cards. So we can just kind of really rifle through our deck more with having all these one and two mana cards. But I don't know. I don't know if that's too slow against the aggressive decks. Alright, no loaded dice. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. Underestimate. I dare you. So they're gonna be going for like the stun all of our stuff. Never mind. That's gotta be a ravenous flock then. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. We were about to level up that twisted fate. Okay. 
So hopefully we don't die here. This is gonna this is gonna be slow, but if if we don't die here, we're gonna have a pretty awesome turn. But please don't kill us. Because you're like right, like this is like a slow speed spell I have to play first. I really like that they passed me. I can't take the pass with these are all fleeting. <laughs> if if they weren't fleeting, we could just be safe and go back to our turn. But they probably want me to play stuff that they're gonna stun. I guess might as well do this. Definitely glad no might. Okay, but we got our combo online. So every time that we deal damage to their Nexus, we nab a card. Like a Minotaur Reckoner. If I play Minotaur Reckoner, we don't get to play Taskmaster. Because I only have... Because this is a fleeting card. Really? The sea beasts will fear us. Dark in the skies. <laughs> we need a nab a Leviathan from them. I guess they probably kill us first, though, with Leviathan. That's too bad. It just took took us too long. GG's. We want our champions and loaded dice and out of the way. Have a loaded dice. They won't feel like it first. You must know me, little one. You must nab. Ooh. That works great with powder monkeys. Cause I am doing a terrible job finding my champions. All right, so I'm gonna go with the monkey business. So now they don't want to attack with those. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say so now they don't want to attack with those, but never mind. They still did. Hopefully not another Bloody Caretaker. Oh, never mind. A Thrash. That's not actually better than another Bloody Caretaker. That's really bad. For obvious reasons. I need a twist of fate. <laughs> come, come, this way. Yeah, our opponents are not... They are not helping me out. Alright, we need a twist of fate. Red card real bad. Yeah, level thrash, but it will at least 
kill all these things. One problem at a time, I guess. One problem at a time. I walk through the ages. Like we've we've also run into some opponents that have just had ridiculous hands. These two two times we played against Sharima, Sharima Shadow Isles, and both times they've had you know like great Cursed Keeper um, curve outs like to start with, and then. Turn five, turn six, a huge five drop, six drop. This time with the two champions. Last time it was Ruin Runner into oh, na to Nasus. This time Thresh into Nasus. Last time, you know, like they had both champions with Azir. Nasus. Last time. Oh, Alright, GG's. Yeah, turn six, a 10 10 Nasus. That was crazy. So yeah, loaded dice out of the way. Just definitely looked way too slow. But, you know, I I only had turn one Zoe, what, one game? I didn't ever have... Like, I think... I guess one game I think I had loaded dice out of the way. I think I had those two together one game. But that's that's pretty slow. Even, like, the, the Yasuo deck that we thought that one was going to be slower, even they weren't very slow. They just kept on playing all of those... Like, the 3-2 that stunned, the 5-1 they got the thing that stunned... They had multiple, or they had all three blade twirlers, multiple house spiders. Even they weren't slow. Like they still just had like all all sorts of aggressive stuff. And then, you know, late game drop Leviathan. So basically, our our units just looked too small, right? Just having like one ones and two ones were too small compared to what our opponents were doing. And we just weren't able to um set up our combo we weren't able to set up loaded dice out of the way we weren't able to uh, level up twisted fate um the game four it looked like we were going to be able to level up twisted fate but our opponent drew that other ravenous flock and they were able to you know stun ravenous flock it all right well anyway that's too bad those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments as well i would appreciate that um, hopefully, if you try the deck, hopefully you run into some opponents that don't have such great hands. <laughs> that, that would be really nice. I like everything the deck can do, though. It, it can do some really cool stuff, but just didn't work out for us with those games. All right, anyway, that's it for Loaded Monkeys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.